Bears after what happened here last week. Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs, I'll tell you, after last week, oh boy. You look at the uh, Tag Team Championships, the Maddox Brothers Hill, the title, but uh, not without their own little controversy in that match. And of course, Kid Cash comes to Southern All-Star Wrestling and comes within an eyelash of taking the TV title away from Chris Michaels. Kid Cash, big star all over the rest of the world. He come in and he tried to relieve that title from Chris Michaels, but he just didn't do it. Well, today, even more great news. I know Commissioner Freddie Morton has been on the phone. He's been on the internet. He's been making faxes to here, there, and everywhere to bring great talent into Southern All-Star Wrestling. And I understand we've got a couple of big announcements to make here today. But opening up action here today will be tag team action as Risky Business takes on Hammerjack and TJ Harley. Risky business, Ricky Vaughn, Nikki Sand. Hey, they're they're a team. They're hey, a team. They son. look so much alike, I can't even tell them apart. I'm so excited, I can't even pronounce their name. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be an exciting tag team matchup. You know, we probably got an answer to a question that had been burning in wrestling fans' minds and uh, really talking about it for a long time with Andy Douglas. He was missing in action all of a sudden last week. He comes in to help his partner, Chase Stevens. Chase Stevens accidentally hit him, and now they may have some crosswords between them. We've got Andy Douglas in action today, and we're going to try to get a word with him to find out what's going on. You say accident, I say I'm not so sure about that. I think that just maybe Andy Douglas is tired of pulling Chase Stevens around. I think maybe Chase Stevens has got a little bit of dissension, and I think he punched him on purpose. Well, Norvay, uh, Norway Havoc rather well, has joined us here right in the middle of things. And uh, Norvay, what's on your mind to interrupt the opening here? As of today, it is official. Your newest SAW icon is Norway Havoc. So everybody in the back, bring your A game. The fact is, I've been doing this for 15 years. There is nobody back there, out there, in there that can do it like me. So from now on, this will be known as the house that Norway built. And I don't care if you're mad. Well. Here's uh, Eric Andrews, uh, Norway Havoc here. Norway, I do apologize because I know you asked for this time specifically. But brother, I've got something just a little bit more important to say. So Michael St. John, what I have to say is all about the television title. What I would like to do is call Commissioner Freddie Morton out here He's over in the rings, Commissioner Freddie Martin. Whoa, whoa. One, don't you ever interrupt my interview time. This is my house. Don't you ever disrespect me again. I'm going to let it slide this time. Two, don't ever turn your back on me. Norway Havoc with some words now. Yeah, Eric, uh, you asked for the commissioner. You've come out here, and the commissioner is here. Freddie Martin, you know, I know when I signed the contract, that Chris Michaels has 30 days till he has to defend that title if he chooses. But you know, I will put anything up. I will do anything if I can get a title shot today on this broadcast. Kamesh, unfortunately, Eric, my hands are tied. You signed the contract. You know the deal. He's got 30 days. It's only been seven. We got 21 more days. My hands are tied. At this point, there's nothing I can do. Commissioner's got. Oh, here's the TV champion himself, Chris Michaels, coming out. This is a, this is getting interesting. Eric Andrews, I heard you in the back, and I'm a little sick and tired of hearing you come out here week after week whining and crying. I want a title shot. I want a title shot. Won't you just face the facts, punk, and realize you will never ever beat Chris Michaels? But hey, I'm not finished. But I'm in a good mood today. I feel a little generous. So, you want a title shot today? I'll give you one. Well. But, 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 there's a stipulation. Oh, a stipulation. What's your stipulations, champ? I will give him a title shot only if he can pin me within 10 minutes. Which everybody knows that's not going to happen. 
But if you can pin me in 10 minutes, you'll get a title shot. Now, wait a minute. I think the commissioner is going to have to come in here, Eric, because there's a 21-day stipulation. You're not supposed to get a title shot. And without the, commis without the commissioner's commissioner signing off on this, I don't think this can happen. Commish? What are you saying here? Ten minutes. Is that that's the time limit? Is that correct? Is that what I'm hearing you saying? If he can pin me within ten minutes, I'll give him a title shot. What about it? Do the fans want to see? That's the main thing. Do the fans want to see this match. I tell you what, let's change it around. Let's make this our TV main event today on this broadcast. Let's have this match today. Yeah, we'll sign it. So we're gonna have an added main event with Chris Michaels, Eric Andrews. Good. Let's get it done. TV title. And there'll be a 10-minute time limit. He has to pin him in 10 exactly minutes. Exactly right, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes, Eric. 10 minutes. Chris Michaels, I will have you saying Eric Andrews is my daddy. Oh, let's take a break. Let's get out of here. We'll have our first match when we come back here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Old Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza featuring an all-you-can-eat buffet Sunday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The best wings around, the hottest sandwiches in town, and pizza that'll make you want to get down to Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza. Our number is 883-1844. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. To open up the action here on Southern All-Star Wrestling, Hammerjack joining up with T.J. Harley against Risky Business. This is the one fall, 10-minute time limit match. We're ready to get it underway, awaiting the referee signal to start the action here today on Southern All-Star Wrestling. And we're ready for action. Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs with you at ringside. Risky Business, this team continues to be very impressive, Hot Rod. Nikki Vaughn, Ricky Santel, and they have a, uh, uh, an interesting match here, although they came close to winning last week the Tag Team Championship. I got a feeling, I, I, I got to tell you, I thought they got robbed. A lot of controversy surrounding that, Michael. Nikki Vaughn, Ricky Santel, very close to winning. T.J. Harley's confused. He has accidentally tagged Ricky Sandell, thinking it's his own partner, and look what he got for his efforts. Brought well, in the hard way. And he did come in the ring the hard way. And uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, these guys, sometimes I guess it can get quite confused after you've been smacked upside the head and bounced around a few times of where you are in the squared circle. And right now, uh, TJ Harley needs to recompose himself. Maybe he needs to defrag the disc between his ears. All it takes is a few licks to the head and a couple of times turned around and all four corners look the same. T.J. Harley lacked on his ring presence. He wasn't aware of where he's at. He wound up in the wrong corner, but right now he has got Nicky Vaughn in the side headlock, so all of that was irrelevant, Michael. Well, one thing I will say is both Rick Santel. Now, there's a great bit of teamwork. Rick Santel just reached out and tagged his partner, and oh! 
and Ricky Vaughn put the knees up, and now Hammerjack is greeted as he comes into the ring with a big double flip, and look at this. Santel and Ricky Vaughn have a chance to take this match very quickly here, and a near pin right there for Ricky Santel on TJ Harley. Very impressive showing right now by the tag team of Risky Business, but Hammerjack showing his effectiveness, showing that he and TJ Harley have a game plan, and now Ricky Santel is gonna pay the price. Ricky Santel got tripped up as Hammerjack lay in wait outside the ring, and now Hammerjack takes over on Santel. Big man in Hammerjack, tough customer in there and a bit of intimidation carrying that sledgehammer to the ring with him, but I'll say this much for the uh, team of Santel and Vaughn, if this is a team that can uh, uh, weather the onslaught of a big man, they're a team that can do it, but right now, Hammerjack is on fire. He's gonna go for the cover right here, right now, but he only got a two count. Goes to show you don't turn your back on Hammerjack. Hammerjack going for the throw to Ricky Santel, and he's really taking it to this kid. You know, I, I just got handed a note here from uh, Commissioner Freddie Morton. Of course, he signed the match today, an extra match to the title match to uh, wrap things up today between Chris Michaels and Eric Andrews. But uh, I've just si seen, seen a note of our new contract signees here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. And of course, uh, Nora Ray Havoc is right on the top of the list. But I see here where Spellbinder has signed a contract to make his appearance here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. And uh, I'm sure we're gonna have a lot to talk about with Spellbinder coming into the area. Big names from all over the world wanting to stake a claim right here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. Everybody's calling, everybody's sending emails, everybody wants on the train. And right now, Ricky Santel, maybe he just might want off of the train because of the price he's paying at the hands of T.J. Harley and Hammerjack right now. Uh, Harley and Hammerjack trying to put the team of Risky Business in the roundhouse. And uh, right now, I got to say, I'm a little surprised at the showing of the team of uh, T.J. Harley and Hammerjack against Risky Business. Risky Business perhaps not on their A game today after that very disappointing loss coming so close to winning the tag team belts last week here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Hammerjack and TJ Harley, both impressive single wrestlers. I too am surprised at how well they're working together as a team. Risky Business has been together as a team for a long time, but that's not doing them a lot of good right now is how methodical, how vicious this tag team is. You know, I don't even really like Risky Business. I don't even really like Nicky Vaughn and Ricky Santel, but I've got to give credit where it's due. They made an impressive showing last week, but they're not faring so well today, Mike. Ricky Santel is literally getting beaten from pillar to post here by Hammerjack, and Hammerjack is just, and we know he's got a mean streak, but he has got it on fire in this tag team match. The fans are behind these guys 110%. They are cheering for Ricky Santel, but it is just not enough because T.J. Harley and Hammerjack are being absolutely relentless in their execution of what a phenomenal match we've got here right now, Michael. A great piece of teamwork between T.J. Harley and Hammerjack. They're tagging out very quickly, keeping the man fresh in the ring and keeping their opponent at bay, cutting the ring in half and keeping Santel from getting his partner. Nice move by Santel. Trips up Hammerjack from behind, but Santel went down in a heap as well, and neither man being able to recover after that move. You know, I don't think that Ricky Santel landed that move with quite the impact he had hoped, but evidently it was enough to stun Hammerjack, but Hammerjack makes a tag, and here comes Nicky Vaughn, and he's on fire right now, Michael. Look at that Santel beautiful Santel made the tag just in time, and Ricky Vaughn comes to the rescue, going after TJ Harley in the corner. Now here's one for Hammerjack as well. All four men in the ring, double bulldog. And right now, the team of Risky Business taking some risk, but they're paying off. Harley now, the lone representative of his team, Double neck breaker, chin breaker, take it, call it what you got. Here's the roll up, one, two, bingo. Call it a winner right there. What an impressive show, and I don't like these guys, but you gotta respect them. 
What an impressive showing. What an impressive victory from Nicky Vaughn, Ricky Santel, Risky Business. When the chips were down, Risky Business answered the bell and get the bell and the victory today here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. We'll be back. More action to come. You stay right where you are. Pro Graphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let Pro Graphics be your source for all of your printing needs. Pro Graphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new Color Span 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call Pro Graphics at 615-327-0386. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. Back with you here on Southern All-Star Wrestling, Michael St. John, my partner Hot Rod Biggs. Last week, quite a controversy. Andy Douglas, missing in action for three weeks, comes back to try to help his partner, gets slugged in the process. I saw it as an accident. I know you disagree with it, but we do have Andy Douglas in action here today. And when he comes out for this match, I want to see if we can get Andy Douglas to stop by and maybe explain what's on his mind, where his whereabouts was, and what he feels about that incident with uh, his partner Chase Stevens last week. I'm kind of curious Andy, myself, can we get him, and here can we he get is. You to say something? Whatever. Well, that's a little different for a man that normally is not a loss for words. Andy Douglas going right to the ring. Didn't want to say so. Let's go to the ring. Let's get to action here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Well, I hate to say that Andy Douglas was at a loss for words, but after that little encounter, Hot Rod Biggs, I'm at a loss for words. Well, who knows what's going through the mind of Andy Douglas right now. I figured he would have at least something to say to address this situation, odd as it may seem, with Chase Stevens. I seem to think it could be a little bit of professional jealousy. You see it as an accident. Only that man knows the truth. Well, Adam Armour is going to be testing Andy Douglas in this match, and it's just, I got to say, it's good to see Andy back. We've missed him here in the... Uh, and uh, Southern All-Star Wrestling, we still don't know where his whereabouts were those three weeks, but uh, nevertheless, Andy and Chase Stevens have made a tremendous tag team, and uh, I, I do hope indeed that uh, it is secure and that that uh, partnership is not in jeopardy. Only time's gonna tell. Andy Douglas definitely seemed displeased as he walked past us on his way to the ring. Who knows what's going on in that head of his, Michael? Well, he didn't want to talk to me, and Hot Rod, I, I got the impression he wasn't going to talk to you either. So we shall see how Andy fares in this match. And thus far against Adam Armour, he's got things going his way. Well, we had the big announcement when we started the program as Nora Ray Havoc has uh, signed a contract to come into the squared circle here on Southern All-Star Wrestling after some negotiation. I understand it is uh, one of the bigger contracts here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. And we were handed a note a few minutes ago from our commissioner, Freddie Morton, that the Spellbinder is coming. And this is a unique individual. Spellbinder is uh, in the world of magic. Perhaps many can come and say he's in the world of the occult. That we don't know, but one thing I know for sure is when he gets in that ring, he can handle himself. You know that for a fact. I've been in the ring with the Spellbinder. What an impressive physical specimen this guy is. A tremendous talent. And all I can say is somebody 
whoever that somebody is standing across the rink from him when he comes in had better watch out. Well, one thing about it is that uh, Andy Douglas has not missed a step. Despite the absence out of this ring over the past few weeks, he has not missed a step in there, stomping on the hands of Adam Armour outside the ring. And right now, Andy Douglas with everything going his way. Still to come, the new nature boy, if you would. Kevin White will be in action against Sigmund. We also have the tag team championship on the line today. Flash and Cash joining together. Flash, Flanagan, and Kid Cash going up against the Maddox brothers. And of course, the added match, if you missed it uh, to start the program, a uh, little uh, situation now with Chris Michaels giving Eric Andrews another shot at the TV title on TV today. Stipulation though, approved by the commissioner of Southern All-Star Wrestling is that Chris Michaels must be beat in 10 minutes, otherwise Eric Andrews isn't gonna get a shot at that belt for a while. It's been a long standing rule of professional wrestling. A champion has 30 days to defend that title. Eric Andrews, he didn't want to wait that 30 days. Chris Michaels is under no obligation to give him a title shot. So right now the ball is in his court. Chris Michaels calls the shots. He says Eric has to beat him in 10 minutes. Well, the corollary to that, uh, Hot Rod Biggs is the challenger. Also, once he has had the shot, if he is unsuccessful, he too must literally go to the back of the line before he gets an opportunity. So this is a real change of venue here because Eric Andrews is actually going to get a shot. Oh, look at that. Andy Douglas going into the pole as Adam Armour stepped out of the way and Andy went in a very, very quick velocity into that steel pole. He hit the pole hard and now it, that injured shoulder is being taken advantage of. Adam Armour is all over this guy right now. Armour's going for the cover. We may have a win here for Armour, but unfortunately for him, he was not able to keep the shoulder down of Andy Douglas, and Andy comes firing back. Douglas sends him his way. Boom! Whoa, whoa. Find out what's going on here. He don't want to talk to nobody. He don't want to talk to you. He don't want to talk to anybody in the back. I'm going to find out for myself. Chase Stevens is going to the ring to talk to his would-be partner, or his partner, Andy Douglas. Chase is on to the ring now, and Andy is involved in a match, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with Chase. You know, I've got to question the motives here, Michael. That just goes to show I think we're leaning towards professional jealousy. What is Chase Stevens doing out here? Andy Douglas is in the middle of a very important matchup. He's got a very tough opponent, and Chase Stevens is out here trying to talk to him like they're – Sending text messages back and forth. Listen this is to a these match, guys. Michael. These guys are involved right now. Now from behind, there goes Adam Armour. He's going to roll up Andy Douglas, and he just won the match. What kind of partner? What kind of partner is that, Michael St. John? What kind of partner cost you a matchup? Boy, listen to this exchange between Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas. Scott Rod, I, I am absolutely spellbound by this. You know, first he punches the man, now he cost him a match. What has this guy got to do, Michael? What does Chase Stevens have? What else does he have to do to show that he is jealous of Andy Douglas? He's jealous of you, Andy. Andy Douglas and uh, Chase Stevens still having words. I don't know if we want to get the microphone near the ring because they are getting quite uh, animated in there. Andy Douglas is uh, making his way out of the ring. He cannot be happy over that uh, outcome of that match. Andy, Andy, do you want to say something here? Look like I want to talk to you. Again, the same reaction out of Andy Douglas. I, I'll tell you, I don't know what's going on, Hot Rod. I don't know what it is between these two, but somebody's going to, they're going to have to sort this out. They're going to have to, they're going to have to have a meeting of the minds and sort this out. Chase Stevens obviously very upset over the situation as well. Chase, do you, Chase doesn't want to, nobody wants to talk. Let's take a break. We'll be back. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. 
home, but looking for that perfect dream home, but don't quite know how to go about it? For free info on buying a home, call Freddie Morton today at 931-334-3110. Put Freddie Morton's experience to work for you. Give Freddie a call today at 931-334-3110 or visit him online at www.freddiemortonsales.com. Cooling servicing Nashville and all of Middle Tennessee. Call owners Joe Anisi and Jerry Williams for all of your heating and cooling needs. They will perform fast professional service. Whether you need annual service, repair, or have a new unit installed, call the pros at Sunshine Heating and Cooling. Back with you on Southern All-Star Wrestling, Michael St. John. You know, very, very often... You get situations that uh, when you have teams that are together, they have words, they have a little uh, disagreement, and obviously there is uh, a deepening chasm between Andy Douglas and uh, Chase Stevens, and I just hope they can work it out for the sake of that tag team. They're a great tag team, and the sake of the fans as well. We've got action coming up in your ring here in just a moment. We have a TV title match coming up. We have a tag team title match coming up, and the man that has branded himself as the new nature boy, Kevin White, is about to uh, be in action. He made quite a debut last week here on uh, Southern All-Star Wrestling, and here he comes doing the little strut. Uh, don't, you, uh, don't you think Ric Flair would get upset about what you're trying to do? Ric Flair is old news. I am the future of professional wrestling, and if you watch last week's show, you will see that I am 1-0. And after today, I will be the only undefeated wrestler in this championship wrestling here today. Well, we shall see about that. The new, if you would, and I, I specify new nature boy, Kevin White, making his way to the ring. Well, he's got the garb, and he's got the uh, styling and the profiling. Let's see what he can do to the ring. Let's go to the action. And the new nature boy a little bit perplexed over what has happened in the ring. Sigmund very low center of gravity. They lock it up collar and elbow and back into the corner they go. Well, you know, when you think about it and you look at the wrestlers, the, the, the caliber of Sigmund and Kevin White, and you think about Noray Havoc coming into Southern All-Star Wrestling, Spellbinder, we've got Kid Cash, Flash Flanagan. Of course, the Maddox brothers, the title holders, Chris Michaels, the TV champion. I mean, it, the, the roster just gets bigger and better. It just seems like week after week after week. And I don't know what is uh, possessing Freddie Morton to bring such great talent into this area, but I got to compliment him. He is doing a phenomenal job. I can only imagine if the talent that Freddie Morton is bringing in. Can you imagine the level of talent that he's had to turn away up to this point? Because there's only so many spots available, and everybody wants to come in and prove themselves and be a part of Southern All-Star Wrestling. And these two guys are no exception. Sigmund taking his 195-pound frame, and it's just not working out for him too good. Kevin White got 10 pounds on him coming in at 215 pounds. A little bit more experience right now than Sigmund, and that is showing as he is working this kid over. Well, it looks like Kevin White now may have, buy, may have bit the ear of Sigmund. He had him. It looked like he was going to go for the figure four, but he didn't have it locked in and set just right. He went for the inverted figure four, but as things turn out, Sigmund is able to escape, but he is limping considerably in that ring, and Kevin White's going to drop that knee on that knee. Oh, knee to knee, bone to bone. Ooh, ouch. And Sigmund is writhing in pain on the mat. It's moves like that that send you to the hospital. It could be a long night in the ER waiting room for Sigmund. Boy, that's one thing you don't want to see that happens. But I'll tell you, when you get a match in this situation today where you've got Sigmund needing a win, you got Kevin White expecting a win and doing uh, any and everything he can to get a win, boy, it could be, uh, you know, it could turn out pretty dangerous. And Kevin White going right back after the knee, the new nature boy going right after that knee of Sigmund, and Sigmund's in trouble. He's in trouble, Bot Rod. He is in trouble. What an impressive showing so far from Kevin White. 
The man's impressed me, and I don't impress easy, Michael St. John. This kid is definitely, so far, in my opinion, has got what it takes to call himself the new nature boy. You know, and as I watch Kevin White in the ring, and I know today on this program, and that added uh, championship match, Chris Michaels and Eric Andrews. Eric Andrews, of course, getting that shot, and well-deserved at the TV title. But I could see down the line that uh, Kevin White's probably in line for a shot at that TV title as well. And both of them running together, and both of them going down and now the referee will begin the count somebody's got to come up by the 10 or somebody's going to lose the match i'll have to agree with you on one point eric andrews and the title shot i can't agree with you on that because he had his shot he was defeated i think that he should be glad chris michaels is even giving him another shot at that title before his 30 days are up sigmund coming firing back on kevin right now a white rider right now and he is now climbing to the second rope and he's going to start pounding away at white white's going to bring him out steps on him puts his feet on the and second that's it. rope and he is going to get a win here on southern all-star wrestling the shortcut way the nature the new nature boy kevin white getting his hands raised in victory here when we come back the southern all-star wrestling tag team champions in action defending the belt here on southern all-star wrestling stay with us Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Old Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza featuring an all-you-can-eat buffet Sunday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The best wings around, the hottest sandwiches in town, and pizza that'll make you want to get down to Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza. Our number is 883-1844. Back with you here on Southern All-Star Wrestling, Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs. It is championship time. The tag team title's on the line. The champions have made their way to the ring, the Maddox brothers, and we're awaiting the arrival of the new form tag team of Cash and Flash. Kid Cash, Flash Flanagan coming together for a shot at that TV, or rather that tag team championship right here on TV here today. This should be quite a matchup as you've got four men that can really go at it. The tag team champions, the Maddox brothers, again, without Paul Adams. He says he's superstitious. They won the belt without it. Look here. Flash and Cash. Flash Flanagan, Kid Cash. There's not going to be anyone come out and do any screw jobs this time because now Kid Cash has him a partner. Let's find out what you guys are really made of. All right, let's go to the ring. Here's action about to begin. The competition growing stronger and stronger each and every week for the Maddox brothers. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's hard to get to the top of mount, the mountain. It's even harder to stay there. Once you win those titles, everybody's gunning for you and the road is not getting any easier as the weeks go by. Kid Cash not waiting to one of the Maddox brothers can leave the ring. He just goes to work on both of them. Kid Cash never to loss for words, never to loss to know what to do. And the kid is not scared to fight. He don't mind tangling it up with anybody
phenomenal wrestler, showing that expertise he's got in the ring, just tossing both of the Maddox brothers around, making a mockery right now of the tag team champion. And Kid Cash going, he is on fire. I'll tell you, that's money in the bank when he is possessed, and he is indeed possessed, and Flash Flanagan, this could be one whale of a tag team here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. Not only do we have the television title on the line coming up, but this match for the Tag Team Championship right now, coming into your media room, if you will. We used to say living room, now you gotta say media room. Gotta say media room, gotta stay with the times. We live in a high tech world, but it's the old school maneuvers that's taking their effect right now on Kid Cash as the Maddox brothers finally get a handle on this matchup. And the Maddox brothers using uh, their teamwork to slow down Kid Cash, and Kid Cash trying to come out of it. Arm drag, takedown, up and over, and Cash now with the advantage. And the Maddox brothers, of course, now a little bit uh, in the worst way so far. Double teaming, Cash and Flash, and a double clothesline. And Flash is the legal man in the ring. Kid Cash now stepping aside, and there is a patented move move rather by Flash Flanagan. We've seen him do that before, and he's uh, knocked some teeth out with that sliding drop kick. Big chop in the corner by Flash Flanagan. I'm not sure one of, which one of the Maddox brothers that is, but whichever one it is, he is in trouble right now. Boy, I'll tell you, it's hard for us to uh, keep up with them, Shane and Sean. We're a little distance from the ring, and until they turn around, uh, actually, I think that is uh, Shane in the ring right now. And uh, they are about to make a tag as they slowed Flash Flanagan down. Tag is made. Maddox brothers defending the gold belts, the tag team championship belts. There are a lot of folks that would love a shot at this. And, of course, Cash and Flash, new form tag team here on Southern All-Star Wrestling, getting their shot here today. These guys have come together. They've come here with one thing in mind, and that is leaving with the Southern All-Star Wrestling tag team titles. The Maddox brothers, Paul Adams, they've got together. They've all got on the same page, Paul Adams. Like you said, he doesn't want to be superstitious. He wasn't here when they won the belts. He doesn't want to be here. He feels he'll jinx his team, but guarantee they have a game plan. Reverse neckbreaker that time on Flash Flanagan. Kid Cash coming in to help his partner now against the Maddox brothers. You know, when you look at the roster, we mentioned the fact that Norbury Havoc has uh, signed now a contract here in Southern All-Star Wrestling coming soon, and um, we'll have more information on it next week here in this program. The Spellbinder coming into this area. When this uh, type of talent starts invading a wrestling area, you know things are going to get tougher and tougher for teams like the Maddox brothers. I can't even imagine what's next for whoever walks out of here with these tag team titles. Each and every week, the competition keeps getting stronger and stronger. Freddie Morton is definitely staying on top of this situation. What a team he has put together. Can you imagine what's next for whoever comes out with these tag team titles? What's Maddox, next for them, Michael? Maddox Brothers right now with a little tag teaming combination with a pinning situation on Flash Flanagan, but they pass by that opportunity and Flanagan brought to his feet, sent to the ropes, coming off. Oh, off the back, he kept his balance. What a move, what a move by Flanagan. Beautiful maneuver, and whichever one of the Maddox brothers that is just got knocked silly. Cash was about to give him one for good measure, but referee Cervantes was right there, and Cash thought better of it. Tag is made, Maddox brothers will exchange positions, and there's an elbow to the top of the head. Going to take a little bit more out of Flash Flanagan. Flanagan needs to make a tag. He's been in the ring quite a bit. Kid Cash in the corner trying to uh, get the attention of his partner. This is, of course, the first opportunity we've seen this uh, tag team put themselves in, and it is a tough situation, and they get the title shot, and Flash Flanagan gets the double clothesline on the Maddox brothers. Can he make a tag to Kid Cash? That's Can right. he get over there? He's going to the wrong corner, see if he's got it. And he tag makes is the made. tag, Michael. Here comes Cash. Making a deposit. There's a withdrawal, and we've got Kid Cash going crazy in the ring as he is taking care of the Maddox brothers. All four men now in the ring. Flash, Flash. Cash, meeting of the mind. Oh, reversal. And now Cash is down, and Flanagan are down. Boy, I'll tell you, the Maddox brothers turn the tables on that one. Roll up on Kid Cash. 
And that's, that, that's it. That's it. The Maddox Brothers escape one more time as your Southern All-Star Wrestling Tag Team Champions. What an impressive win for the Maddox Brothers. And you know that Paul Adams is having a fit celebrating right now. Well, he knows that he was uh, a, a good luck charm when he wasn't here. And again, not here to be present for the win of the Maddox Brothers. They retain the Tag Team Championship here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. We'll be back. Pro Graphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let Pro Graphics be your source for all of your printing needs. Pro Graphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new Color Span 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call Pro Graphics at 615-327-0386. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. Sunny days are here again. Sunshine Heating and Cooling servicing Nashville and all of Middle Tennessee. Call owners Joe Anisi and Jerry Williams for all of your heating and cooling needs. They will perform fast professional service. Whether you need annual service, repair, or have a new unit installed, call the pros at Sunshine Heating and Cooling. If you love the look of historic homes but prefer the energy efficiency and trouble-free living of new home construction, you'll be right at home in a victory-built home. Constructed with insulated panels, this helps keep the energy bills low. Also, will help withstand high winds and is virtually soundproof from the outside noises. Please view our online videos of our model home and green-friendly building process at www. Sunny days are here again. Sunshine Heating and Cooling servicing Nashville and all of Middle Tennessee. Call owners Joe Anisi and Jerry Williams for all of your heating and cooling needs. They will perform fast professional service. Whether you need annual service, repair, or have a new unit installed, call the pros at Sunshine Heating and Cooling. For Commissioner Freddie Morton approved this, Chris Michael says he'll give this man 10 minutes to win the title. If not, no more shots. Eric Andrews, he's in on it. Eric Andrews is lucky he's even getting this shot. Chris Michaels did not have to grant him this title match. He's got to beat him in 10 minutes. He's got to beat him in 10 minutes. And I'll say this, Michael, I do not see that happening. Chris Michaels flashing the 10 as he passed our position here at ringside. Let's go to the ring for Action TV Championship on the line. Eric Andrews, Chris Michaels about to tie it up. All right, Hot Rod Biggs, you have the uh, time in your hand. 
Ten minutes here. Referee calls for the bell, and the bell signals the beginning of the match. Chris Michaels, Eric Andrews. Eric Andrews now has less than ten minutes to win the title, or he doesn't get another shot. These two guys, no strangers to each other. As a matter of fact, these two guys were the inaugural champions for the television title. There was a lot of controversy surrounding this thing from the get-go, Michael St. John. Chris Michaels now in possession, legally in possession of that title. Hard-fought battles. I just don't see Eric the Dragon Andrews defeating someone the caliber of Chris Michaels in a mere 10 minutes. Mr. Biggs, I have to ask you, though, when you have a 10-minute time limit you are under the gun literally you cannot really plan a strategy you almost have to just go in there and shoot all your bullets out of the chamber at one time the pressure's bad enough i've been in many a title match in my career usually a title match you've got 60 minutes to take that champion to the limit and it's hard enough to do that you're talking about 10 minutes i just don't see it happening eric andrews making quick work of chris michaels Wasting absolutely no time with a series of high-impact moves. But still, baby, we're talking about the headliner, Chris Michael. With those hard arm drag takedowns, though, Hot Rod, I got to tell you, that's got to take a lot out of a man. He's hitting that mat with repetition, 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 and the breath is just being popped out of his body with every slam. And I, I would think right now that Eric Andrews has an advantage, but Eric uh, standing with his uh, normal procedure in the matches, he's barring the arm. I thought that perhaps that Eric Andrews would be more explosive in the early going. Eric Andrews being as explosive, I think, as Chris Michaels is gonna allow him to be. You gotta understand, Michael, Eric Andrews is not in there deadlifting. Weights don't fight back. He might be impressive in the gym, but Chris Michaels is on a barbell, and Chris Michaels is on the offense, and we're going to see what he's going to do with Eric Andrews right now. We are under eight minutes remaining. Ten minutes is all that Eric Andrews has. Chris Michaels, nice move there to make Eric Andrews fly over the top, but Andrews maintaining his, uh, his uh, position in the ring, maintaining his... Uh, he's just got it going right now. That's, I, I, you know, I watch that move, and I'm like, whoa. He just maintained his momentum, uh, if you will. Absolutely. You got to give credit where it's due. And credit goes to Eric Andrews. Very deep textbook arm drag from the challenger. We have about seven minutes remaining for Eric Andrews to win this match and win the TV title. If not, it will be retained by Chris Michaels, and Eric Andrews will not get another shot. That, according to Commissioner Commissioner Freddie uh, Morton of Southern All-Star Wrestling, and I've just been handed a note next week here on this program, Nora Ray Havoc will be in action, and I understand we will have more information about the Spellbinder coming in to Southern All-Star Wrestling. Everybody's jumping on the train. Everybody wants to be a part of this. You got to watch out. You never know what kind of trouble could come when the Spellbinder walks in the building. Norway Havoc, he staked his claim everywhere he's went. He says that Southern All-Star Wrestling is going to be no different. We have rolled down on the six-minute mark here. We're almost halfway through this 10-minute time limit. And there's a big move by Chris Michaels. Caught him up in the air with that leg. Rolls him up. One, two. Oh, Chris Michaels almost won the match outright right then and there. Chris Michaels showing why he is the champion, but then again, Eric Andrews showing why he deserves another title shot as he kicked out of that high impact maneuver by your champion, Chris Michaels. Coming up on five minutes on this match, and if I can uh, paraphrase my good friend Lance Russell, five minutes gone, five minutes to wrestle. We're halfway through it. We're halfway through it right here. It only takes three seconds for the title to change hands. There's 200 sets of three second increments in a 10 minute time limit. And it only takes one of those for him to come out on the title. And the clock is rolling for both of these men, Chris Michaels and Eric Andrews. And right now, Chris Michaels has the advantage. He really, when you think about it, Hot Rod Biggs has the advantage in two ways. Number one, he can extend the length of this match and still win. Absolutely. Chris Michaels, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And I guarantee you, Chris Michaels knows there's more than one way to walk away and walk out of here with that title or else he would have never stepped in that ring. 
Chris what? did not fall off the turnip truck yesterday. He's been in this business for a long time. He has trained people who have went on to become superstars. Chris Michaels has always felt like he has been overlooked, and now it's his chance, and he wants it more than anybody. And Eric Andrews comes firing back at the six-minute mark. So we have four minutes to go in this match of a 10-minute time limit between Chris Michaels and Eric Andrews. And Eric Andrews is now beating the daylights out of Chris Michaels in the middle of the ring with that right fist. Into the ropes, he goes for the back body drop, but a swinging neck breaker by Chris Michaels, and that'll pull it into that onslaught by Eric Andrews. Chris Michael says he don't even need 10 minutes. He thinks this is going to be it. He's got Andrews wrapped up. One, two, but Andrews is up under the ropes, and that will be a break. If that had been in the center of the ring, that could have been it right there, Michael St. John. Chris Michaels has got the advantage in so many ways. Chris Michaels can get counted out. Chris Michaels can put him in a hold and choke him until the 10-minute mark comes. Chris Michaels can defeat him right in the center of the ring. Eric Andrews has got the deck stacked against him, and the time is running short. Michael, where are we at now? Seven minutes have passed. We have three minutes to wrestle. Three, three minutes. minutes, and of course, Chris Michaels only needs to hold on to this front chancery for three minutes. He's going to win the match automatically. You hear that, Michael? Chris Michaels looking over here. He says, I got him, Hot Rod. He knows that he has got Eric Andrews right where he wants him. Eric Andrews is trying to fight back. This crowd is supportive of Eric Andrews. They're getting behind him, but they cannot break the massive hold that Chris Michaels has got on him. The fans can't help him do that. Well, without a doubt, the situation is here that Chris Michaels need not win the match. He just needs to last for 10 minutes, and now uh, we're coming up on the eight minute mark in just a minute, and here comes Eric Andrews firing back on the champion, and he put him down. Down Eric. again goes Michaels. Eric Andrews firing away. Michaels sent to the ropes. Eric Andrews with that swinging leg kick. Goes for the cover. This could be it. Do we have a new champion? Oh. Chris Michaels barely escaped that cover. We could have had a new champion right there. We are inside of eight minutes. We are down to about 90 seconds left in this match. Small package coming your way. One, two, and Eric Andrews almost had him again. The heart of this kid never ceases to amaze me. Eric Andrews is a fighting challenger. He wants to be a fighting champion, Michael St. John. And again, here's the O'Connor roll with the sunset flip, and no, a two count again as Chris Michaels coming near to losing that belt on three occasions. There's Andrews going for the backslide. One, two, and almost again. Eric Andrews trying everything 60 he can. seconds remain in this match. 60 seconds to remain in that 10 minute time limit. If Eric Andrews can beat him, he wins the belt. If he doesn't beat him in 10, Michaels retains it. One, two, and again almost. Chris Michaels reverses it. Eric Andrews caught. Flipped him over. One, two, this could be it. They're rolling back and forth. We're down inside of 30 seconds now. Neither one of these guys giving an inch. Chris Michaels has just got to hold on a few more seconds. Goes for that super kick. Eric Andrews retaliates and counts. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Here comes Norvay Havoc. Norvay Havoc has hit the ring. Did we get the time? Did we get the time, Michael? It was about, there was about 30 seconds left when Norvay Havoc hit the ring. And Norvay Havoc now and Eric Andrews are tying it up. Norvay Havoc, of course, early on was interrupted by Andrews. Backbreaker, referee calling for the bell. What an impressive maneuver by Norvay Havoc. Wait a minute, Havoc. what are the Maddox brothers doing out here? Norvay Havoc being called out of the ring by the, Nor what is going on here? I'm the not Maddox sure brothers. what's going on here. Norvay Havoc, Chris Michaels getting the referee out of the way. Big turnbuckle what shot is referee is Ricky going Bell. on here? Norvay Havoc is throwing Eric Andrews to the floor. Nothing Holy cow but here, what is going Norvay. on? What is Nothing going on here? Norway Havoc is holding Eric Andrews. It looks like the Maddox brothers are going to tape him to the ropes. 
They're taping it to the bottom rope, without a doubt. The Maddox brothers, Norway, Chris Michaels observing. They're at an insult to injury right now. What are they about to do? Chris Eric Havoc. Andrews in trouble. Or rather, Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels doing, uh, they're holding uh, at bay Eric Andrews. The Maddox brothers are tying him up. They're tying him up with tape here. And Eric Andrews is caught. What? What is this? Oh Eric my God. Andrews is absolutely helpless right now. And they're cutting the hair of Eric Andrews. They're shaving his head, Michael St. John. Chris is. Oh, come on, guys. This is this is abominable. Eric Andrews is having his head shaved right here on TV by Chris Michaels, the Maddox brothers, and Norrie Havoc. There's a price to pay for everything, Michael St. John. Eric Andrews stuck his nose in Norway's business earlier. Hey, you cannot forget Michael St. John. There's history right there. Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels, they go all the way back to Memphis, baby, in the USWA. You remember them from there very well. They've got a history, and Norway is in Look here. Look at this. The Maddox brothers have scissors. Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels have shears, and they are shearing the head. Of, oh my gosh, I can't watch this. Eric Andrews absolutely helpless. What do you mean you can't watch it? This is unbelievable. I cannot believe this is happening. The commissioner now has gone to the back to hopefully get help for Eric Andrews as he is being, he is being totally embarrassed here. He has been humiliated by these four men. Michael St. John, this is one of the greatest moments in television history right now. That's for you, Hot Rod. Hey, thank you. Thank you, brother. Look at here. I have some of the locks of Eric Andrews' hair right there. <laughs> there you got enough. It's Eric the Andrews trying the to fight back. He has been taped. He has been, and now he's kicking back at the Maddox brothers, but they have him literally crucified, and they have shaved his head. They have butchered his head right there in the middle and now Chris Michaels continuing to add insult to injury and Nore Havoc just slamming her way at Eric Andrews. This is an absolute outrage, an absolute outrage. I don't think it's an outrage at all. I think it's the greatest moment in television history. Finally, Eric Andrews is getting what he deserves. Here's the commissioner, Freddie Morton, coming to the ring. Now, of course, Listen to the commissioner now coming to the ring. He's trying to get everybody out of here. And there you have it, the commissioner now trying to free Eric Andrews. Reno Riggins has come to the ring. Chris Michaels and these guys have absolutely annihilated this man's hair. They have definitely done a number on Eric the Dragon Andrews. Made it just inside of the 32nd mark I of the 10-minute time limit. Congratulations. Eric Andrews, let that be a little message. You see this right here, punk? You're a snot-nosed punk, prima donna. You don't deserve nothing in the wrestling business, and you will never, ever hold this around your waist again. And you are looking at right here the very best, the four best athletes in Southern All-Star Wrestling, and I'm talking about the Maddox brothers, Sean and Shane, I'm talking about Norrie Havoc, and of course, your television champion, Chris Michaels. Well, there you have it, the statement made, the gauntlet thrown down. They have now laid claim to being the primo donnas, if you would, of Southern All-Star Wrestling. Think how pretty Eric Andrews is gonna be with bald, He's going to have to wear a do-rag next time he comes in here. Oh. Y'all won't think he's such a pretty boy then, now will you? Yeah, well, Chris Michaels speaking for these four. And Hot Rod Biggs, wait a minute, you got a smile got on your face. I, I love it. I said, this is the greatest moment in television history. Eric Andrews thinks he can just come out here and stick his nose in anybody's business. And I'm glad to see Chris Michaels, Norway Havoc, and the Maddox Brothers show this punk that you don't walk on somebody else's house. This is the house that Norway built, and I'm glad to be standing in it, and I'm glad to see what happened to this. Punk. Well, there's nothing more we can say. Words cannot express my feelings, fans. 
Oh, we'll see you next week here on Southern All-Star Wrestling.